Shimmy shimmy yeah shimmy yam shimmy yay. Give me the mic so I can take it away. It's genius pie trap, not the old dirty bastard, as you maybe thought from my dope ass rhyming. But I'm here to bring you another Steam tutorial, this time on how to make a profile background taking up the whole screen, using the artwork showcase and the screenshot cr showcase to make a full size background and also to add stuff to it. Now this background was just clouds, it didn't have this flying pie here or this. And I'm going to show you guys how to do all this stuff. Add it to these and make it look all nice and cool. The first thing we want to do is find the background we want to use. And you have to own the background, obviously. If we go into inventory, we go to show advanced filters, and we click on profile background. This will show us all the backgrounds we own. Once we're on here, we can click on ones that we want to maybe use. Say for example, we wanted to use this one. We click view full size and we want this address right here that shows up in our browser. The other way to find backgrounds is to go to www.steamcardexchange.net and if we go to tools and then background viewer, we can, and right here, choose your game, we can search for backgrounds by game. So maybe you don't like any of the backgrounds in your profile, you can come here and view them and then purchase them or trade for them or whatever. But anyway, we want to find the background and we want to find the URL from that background. From this site, we can actually go into here, view game in, or show background as wallpaper. It's right here. Again, we want to copy that link. For this tutorial, I'm going to use this one, Mounted Knight versus Bear Rider. I'm just going to click view full size. I'm going to control C, so I have it. Next, I want to go to Steam AP Background Cropper. I'll leave a link in the description to the site, and you want to paste it in right here and hit Change Background. Now, we can do a couple things here. We can switch around the art, artwork showcase. We can move it down. Maybe you want, you know, maybe it fits a little bit better. I think it's going to work better to go like this. All right, once we have it set up the way we want it, we want to click the Download All Images button. And we'll download a zip right here. We can show in folder. Let's cut it out of there. And we can put it anywhere on our, I'm just going to put it on the desktop for easy viewing here. We'll make a new folder for it. We'll call it background. Doesn't matter for now. We'll open it up and we will paste that in there then we're going to right click extract here and we have all of our pictures in like so now if you notice some are labeled as dates and others are labeled as artwork avatar and stuff and i'll get to that in a minute all right back to our profile from here now guys and i should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video you have to be at least level 20 to make this all work. Level 10 and you can do the artwork showcase. If you don't know how to add the artwork showcase, I have another video about that. I'll leave it in the description. Um, here's your screenshot showcase. But anyway, if we go to here, artwork, and this shows all of our artwork, you want to upload artwork, and we want to click not game specific. And right here we can hit choose file. Go on our desktop, background, and we want to upload all the ones that say artwork. And this one will name center because it's going to go in the center. And we want to set visibility as public. And then I certified that I created this artwork. Save and continue. And there it is. Now we have to do that for every single piece, three more times for all of those artworks. Just like that. Now if we go to Chicks Dig It Artwork, we'll find them all right here. So let's go to our profile, that way we can get started here. 
we can go to edit profile first thing we want to do is set our profile background and we want to pick that profile background it's right here we'll click on it now next we want to make sure the very first showcase we have is artwork showcase we're going to click edit we're going to put the middle one in edit we're going to do the one for the top edit one for the middle and the one for the bottom and we're gonna get to the screenshot showcase don't worry save changes see how it looks so far turn to my profile here's how it looks so far now the next thing if you want your profile picture to be this right here to be in there you want to go to edit profile choose file we're gonna click or choose file we're gonna find that in the same folder here's our avatar upload go to the bottom save changes return to my pro profile let's see what we got there it is so now we got now the harder part of it is doing the screenshot showcase which really isn't that hard all right for this next part we want to change the screenshot showcase now the first thing we have to do is go to our library and pick a game, any game, it doesn't matter. For this example, I'm going to use Team Fortress 2, and you want to launch it. Once we have the game launched, we want to take four screenshots with the screenshot button. Mine's set to F12. Just four shots can be in the menu, it can be playing the game, it doesn't matter where it is. One, two, three, four. And you can see in the bottom right, it says four screenshots saved. From there we can just exit right out and you should get a pop-up that says screenshot uploader. Next you want to click on this bottom here show on disk. Next we want to bring up the photos we just saved from that we just downloaded off the net there. I put them on my desktop background here they are. Now what we want to make sure of is that these numbers match 2061 see how these numbers don't quite match we want to make sure they match 13 14 15 16 so i want to make sure these read 13 14 15 16 and i want to do them in sequential order change it to a 13. now you might not have to do this step it, they might match depending on how many screenshots you've taken with that game like so now what we want to do is we want to bring all these over copy them just drag them over and it's going to ask to replace the files in the destination we approve of that next we want to go into the thumbnails folder and same exact thing again make sure that these match they should now that we changed them we drag them over replace the file destination excellent excellent now what we want to do is make sure we select all four of these files they should all four have the blue box around them and click upload and we'll see the little clouds popping up that's good and we can get out of there let's go back to our profile we'll go edit profile again now again we the next showcase down should be our screenshot showcase if you are not level 20 you cannot have two of these showcases here you have to be level 20 Level 10 will only allow you to have one of these showcases here. We're going to click edit and we're going to find our pictures. Here's one, like this. Click the next one. And we want to change so all of our pictures are in here by clicking the edit. So it should look like that. We're going to scroll to the bottom. Hit save changes. Return to my profile and there we have it a full screen background now i also promised to show you how to edit these and put something in there now i'm gonna do a really quick one this isn't how i normally do it but i'm gonna show you this way because it's the free way um, normally i use a program called corel draw 
where I can use a lot more things to it and I add gifts and make gifts, but I'm just going to show you something real quick and easy here. All right, if we bring up Microsoft Paint, we want to go to File, bring up File, go to Open. Let's bring up the picture we want to change. We'll do artwork right here, Open like this. From here we can, maybe I want to put my name on it. Sounds like it'd be okay, let's make it bigger here. Maybe I'm just gonna put GPT. Let's make the box here. Like so. Or I could, you know, bring another picture in here. Or whatever. There's a bunch of stuff I can do here. I'm not gonna teach you guys how to use Microsoft Paint, but it's pretty easy. Something like that. We're gonna click file. We're gonna click save as. We'll save it as a JPEG picture. We'll call it Artwork Center. Click OK. Now from here, we're gonna go to Artwork and we wanna upload artwork, not game specific. Choose File. There it is right there. Open. We'll call that one GPT. I certify to create it. Save and continue. There it is. Now we wanna go back to our profile. Edit profile again. Change this picture to our new one. There it is. Save changes. Return to my profile. You get the idea. Obviously this is something uh, real simple, but again, I would put more work into this if I was to leave it. Maybe I'll put the flying pie into here, which is making a GIF, which is a whole nother thing. But there you have it. Talk to you guys later. Hope you learned something. You guys got any questions, put them in the comments below. Talk to you later. Genius Pie Trap, over and out. Later, bye. Victory. The outcome was never really in doubt. Eat my dust. Let's have a go at it. Godspeed, you magnificent bastard. Giddy up. <laughs>